transform any regular photographs into an old cracked painting. Position your image on the top of a black background. The black background is going to play an important role in the transformation. First, we need to make two copies of the image. Hit Ctrl plus J twice. Before to carry on, lock and turn off your original picture. It's always a good idea to archive your originals when you work on any projects. This way you can always get back to them if needed. Turn off your top copy, we'll work on it at the very end of the tutorial. Click on the layer of the first copy to activate it and right click. In the menu box, go all the way down until you find Add. Select the option Transparency Mask. Now before to continue, let me give you a quick reminder of what a transparency mask is used for. When you add a transparency mask to a layer, a new layer appears underneath. This is your layer mask. You know you are working on a layer mask when the color wheel becomes black and white. A transparency mask basically acts as a non-destructive eraser. What it does, it hides pixels rather than removing them for good. Now the important thing to remember here is that you need to make sure that the foreground and background colors are set to black and white. If they are not, just hit the letter D on your keyboard. So black will hide pixels. Using any brush of your choice, paint over the areas of your image that you want to hide. Use the letter X to switch between the two colors. Now when the white color is active, you can paint over the areas you have hidden earlier and all the pixels will reappear. Alright, time to create the cracks. We are going to get a nice texture brush. Click on the Choose Brush preset icon. In the menu box, move down the list of tags and click on the textures. Look for the brush called the Texture Spines. Now make sure to turn off your pen pressure if it was activated. This is when the fun starts. Uh, using different brush sizes, uh, paint as many cracks as you want all over your image. When you are done, using the little arrow here, hide the layer mask. Now look, as soon as I click back on the layer to reactivate it, the color wheel is back to normal. This is how you know if you are on a layer mask or on a regular layer. Time to add some effects to the image. Go to the Filter tab. Click on the Start Gimmick. Using the search bar, type Old. The search will come with a few results. We want the one that says Old Movie Stripes. Use the top slider and decide of how many vertical stripes you want on your image. I am going to choose a 6. Now for the rest of the tutorial, make sure to click OK. Do not click Apply. 
Back to gimmick this time type dirty in the search bar. Again use the top slider to increase or decrease the effect. Click OK. We are almost done. Click on the top layer to activate it and turn it back on. Back to the gimmick plugin. In the search bar type ghost. Now play with the slider until you like what you see in the preview panel. You don't have to repeat exactly what I do here. And you click OK. Decrease the opacity of your layer and change the blending mode to overlay. If you want, you can always decrease or increase the opacity of your layer a little more. We have one more effect that I want you to add. Go back to the gimmick plugin. In the search bar, type rain. Click on rain and snow. Use the top slider to change the angle of your rain. Uh, we want the rain to fall vertically. Use the second slider to slow down or speed up the rainfall. Finally, use the third slider to decrease or increase the density of your raindrops. And click OK. As you see, a rain layer has been created on the very top. The only two things left to do now is change the blending mode of this layer from normal to screen. And decrease the opacity of the layer. And we are done! I hope you get to try it, uh, have fun, and I'll uh, see you next time. Au revoir et à bientôt.